Now, I already know that you guys are not going to be able to guess what fragrance we're covering tonight. You're not going to be able to guess what this supposed to be. You're not. It's impossible. And the way that that emblem look on the front, you're not going to be able to guess it. Huh? How did you guess that? How did you know? Was it from the everything about this fragrance? So today we're going to be going over Ministry of Oud Greatest. Uh, I like the box, the presentation. It is a it bites completely on Nisio. Not even slightly trying to hide it. Complete bite. But I'm cool with that. Um, black box is a 100ml box. Let's get this thing open. Open the top. And you're met with a black flap. As well as a black and uh, gold cap. And you got the Ministry of Oud emblem right on top of that. And you can actually pick this up by the, the cap. I'm surprised. This bottle is truly heavy. Truly. Um, so picking it up from the cap is definitely a... Makes me nervous, but it somewhat snaps into place. Somewhat. A very nice glass finish. Very nice color to that juice. A gold cap. Logo on the top. Uh, my bottle actually has a chip right here in the corner, right here. So I have to be careful how I hold it down that way. Um, let's try this out. <clears throat> what I can pick up, of course, is the oud. You can definitely pick up on the agarwood. And you get the same, it's a likeness that MFK 540 has with that saffron. I can definitely pick up on the saffron. So there were people that were telling me that with this fragrance, that they make some bangers over at Ministry of Oud. And a lot of their Oud fragrances last a long time, has a really good smell, uh, project well, smell great. Uh, presentation wise, they're great. Price point wise, it's great. This is about $35, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I went to Aroma Concepts to check it out. 35 bucks for this. This is a 100 ml bottle. Great presentation. The atomizer on this. Great fine mist before the atomizer on this bad boy. Scent. Smells very much so like it. I think it's a bit heavier on the saffron side than anything. The lavender that's in this uh, adds a little bit of creaminess to it. Uh, it's just a really nice, really nice rendition of, of Anisio's Oofa Greatness. The notes for this is lavender, saffron, nutmeg, agarwood, patchouli, and musk. So you will get like a little bit of a peppery, uh, spicy kind of vibe from that uh, nutmeg. Nutmeg is usually kind of adds like this uh, a sparkly somewhat sparkly spice kind of vibe um somewhat peppery but not too much uh and i like whenever it's utilized in fragrances because they add like a little dusky dustiness to it sparkly dustiness to it if that makes sense and this has that as, as well um this one is a dry resinous food but the food isn't as dry as some of the ones that i've had in my collection this one is is not as dry as i would expect it to be it's not damp but it's not as super dry it's a bit smooth alongside with that lavender you can say got like a little bit of a sparkly dustiness alongside with that nutmeg uh got nice musk to it as well this is just a good fragrance especially for that price point it's just you're not going to be able to beat that i want to say ooh for greatness is upwards of maybe 200 or something like that if the last time i checked maybe more uh correct me if i'm wrong but being able to pick this up 100 ml bottle great presentation great size great fragrance lovely looking juiced uh at 35 dollars if anything this could just be a buffer or something that you could have to utilize so that you don't use up your whole bottle of food for greatness you can have this on the side you know what i mean that's what this these kind of companies give you the freedom to do uh, it gives you the freedom to also sample at a in a big way. Some samples you can buy and you can pick them up for 
depending on what it is like seven to twelve to thirteen dollars or something like that for a sample and with this one you're paying 35 for a hundred ml sample pretty much it's gonna be a slight difference in the way it comes off Ooh, for greatness in my opinion is a little smoother but this isn't no slouch this isn't coming off uh in a way where it's not pleasing you're gonna love this fragrance really good i love this and i can't wait for the winter time to come if i can sport this a lot more or what i might do is layer it that's another advantage of being able to purchase at this price point is layering it and utilizing it in different ways that you would never never do if you bought a 200 300 bottle of cologne never but that's why i like these um like i said very smooth finish i don't know if you guys can hear but i'm gonna take any old glass bottle that i have and i'm gonna run it across my desk you might be able to hear that you might might not and then i'm gonna run this bottle of ministry of oud across my desk and just let me know what you hear You didn't hear anything. Hopefully you heard the first bottle, but this glass that they did on this bad boy is so smooth. That bottom of that is so smooth. The bottle, the first bottle that I was using was Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. And it got kind of got the similar style bottle, but it's just, it's just the, it's just something is gonna rub against that grain on, on this desk, and it's always gonna make that noise. And I noticed that this is so smooth that it doesn't even make a sound. And every bottle I have makes a sound on my desk. When I move it, when I slide it around, if I'm picking it up, it's always a sound. These bottles are so smooth and I instantly notice that. And it's so satisfying, I guess you would say. I love this fragrance. That is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will catch you guys soon. Peace.